Hi, my name is Grant and you're watching the CRK series uh, product information video. Um, I'd like to cover the, the overall features and functions of the CRK series. And the CRK series is a motor driver package which incorporates smaller type frame sizes anywhere from 20 millimeter all the way up to the 60 millimeter frame sizes. We have round shaft, uh, harmonic gears, planetary gears, and tapered hop gears available. These are unit packages which come with both the motor and the drive, and the drive does incorporate micro-stepping. Currently, the CRK series is the only package we have available which incorporates a 20 millimeter frame size with harmonic gear. Um, that's a, a pretty small motor with harmonic gear, and again, it is the only package currently that offers this. Overall, the driver is fairly compact. It's only about 65 millimeters to about 45 millimeters and about uh, one inch in uh, overall depth. Uh, now, while these numbers kind of give you a general idea, I do have a unit with me today that I would like you to see uh, just for a better understanding. This is the drive, and as you can see, it does fit in the palm of my hand. It is very small, and actually it's one of the smallest drivers out on the market now. Um, with this unit, we do have a uh, power input connection, uh, the general I.O. connection, and then the motor connection. And we also have some potentiometers to set micro-stepping, run current, and then we have some dip switches to um, turn on and off some other basic features. We'll get into that a little bit more in detail in just a moment. So what is one of the other things that I'd like to point out is one of the, the, the capability of the smooth drive function. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, the smooth drive function is the ability for the CRK drive to automatically microstep for the user. Um, now, what this means is when incorporating the basic resolution that would normally be set to the to the drive, the the CRK drive will automatically microstep, which allows the user not to have to adjust their basic pulse resolution or the overall pulse frequency, and that allows for a much less expensive type pulse generator to be used in the application. So this can really open up doors uh, to users who normally don't use the more expensive type pulse generator but want microstepping. So the overall basic connections of the unit, like I mentioned, was the current adjustment, the power input connector, the motor connector, and the I.O. connection. But we also have the data selection switches, which I mentioned were used for microstepping. And then also we have this dip switch selector over here on the left side of the board. Looking more closely at what those dip switches control, the drive has the ability to accept either one pulse or two pulses depending on what type of pulse generator or PLC or controller you're using. Um, you can also turn that smooth drive function on or off and you also have the ability to switch between R1 and R2 which sets the basic resolution of the motor. And There's also a green power LED which indicates the drive is powered. And like I mentioned we do have up to 250 times micro-stepping, which gives you at a basic step angle of 0.72 uh, basic resolution motor all the way up to 0 0.00288 degrees. Also, we do have some other custom type resolutions. Say you're using um, a standard two-phase uh, resolution and you want to go to that, it does have the capability to do 2.5 times micro-stepping. Um, so on and so forth. So we do have uh, quite a bit of capability, um, overall features and functionality. And now, like I mentioned, with this dip switch, we can switch between data one and data two selections. However, the user does have the ability to switch those uh, resolutions or those data selection switches using external I.O. signals. As we can see on uh, pin seven and eight, data select switch by activating an I.O., the user can externally toggle between those two resolutions. Now, looking closer at the other connections of the I.O., we can see that we do have a pulse and direction uh, 
set of inputs. Now, again, you can either go with one pulse mode, which is just uh, pulse and direction bit, or two sets of pulses. We also have an all windings off sig input signal. The all windings off input signal will turn current off to the motor and thus uh, allow it to lose holding torque. And now this can be used either as an energy savings feature or to allow uh, somebody to make manual adjustments. There's also a current cutback release signal. The current cutback release signal is an automatic feature um, which is built into the drive. Basically at standstill, the drive is going to decrease holding current by 50% uh, to allow the motor to maintain uh, temperature. Um, the user does have the ability to turn that feature off by activating pins 9 and 10. And finally, we have an excitation timing signal output. Now what that means is as the motor steps, it's going to send back a, a pulse feedback, one pulse per every 10 steps. Now this will allow the user for, to maintain more accurate homing and to uh, allow to maintain the overall position um, or have a better idea of where the motor is actually at. Features that the CRK has in common with the RK, since both the RK and the CRK utilize the same overall technology, um, they do have a lot of the same features such as microstepping, smooth drive, all windings off, and timing output. Now the main difference between the RK and the CRK is the RK is an AC input drive and focuses mainly on the larger frame size type motors, while the CRK is a DC input drive and has much smaller frame size motors than the RK. If you do have any questions, I would encourage you to call our 1-800-GO-VEX tech support number with your questions, or you can visit our website at www.orientsmotor.com. And if you would like more information on the CRK series, feel free to watch the CRK introduction video. My name is Grant, and thank you for watching.